this tournament. Perhaps his, uh, his coming out party on the national scene, one could say. But man, he, he has a chance to make a name for himself right here. And he is going up against the top brass in this tournament, Superior Fan. Now this is going to be a test for him because Superior Fan, he is nothing to trifle with. Yes, Superior Fan has always been, Serp has been at the top of the le every leaderboard. He's been winning online after online, been going to offlines consistently and placing well there. Serp has a great track record and Kumo really has a track record mostly online in the ranked leaderboards. So in order to see this gonna happen, Serp and Kumo are gonna have to go head to head and it's gonna be a clash of wills for sure. Now this is where it gets intense. This is winner's semifinal action, a place in winner's final at Summer Jam 12 at stake. Once again, we thank you for joining us here at twitch.tv slash bros underscore calamity Stu the announcer alongside MWE Hama. I mean, this is as intense as it gets. Top eight at a big FGC tournament and not a traditional FGC game, but man, oh man, it is a community that is so passionate and brings such energy to the table. You can't help but get sucked in, Hammer. Oh yeah, I've never seen a player in arms that says, eh, I don't know if this is the game for me. All of us are in right away. This is pretty much all of our favorite games. I mean, we dedicate hours and hours to this game that despite having a small community, you know, we're all tight knit. We all love playing with each other. We're all friends here. Oh yeah. No, you, you, you can count me as a fan right now, although I'm definitely partial to Splatoon. I'm not going to lie about that. I am a kid and a squid. Um, but yeah, I'm absolutely the freshest squid on the block, by the way. I will put that out there. I will challenge anyone who asserts otherwise. But uh, Kumo trying to, uh, trying to assert his dominance over Surf. That is easier said than done, folks. I mean, the top seed in the tournament projected on the projection screen. It shows that he is uh, projected to win this whole thing. I only really just discovered the projected button on the pools. So uh, that is definitely something, but Superior Fan, without a doubt, the top seed and looking to assert his dominance over the ARMS community. Kid Cobra versus Max Brass, no surprises here. Here we go with winners, semi, final action, a megaton on that Kid Cobra. Yeah, we're seeing Superior Fan go with his normal load out there, stun arm plus the Sparky. And right away, those stun arms on the Chakram is gonna come right into effect. And that corner pressure that's already being inserted by Max Brass on sparring range is insanity. Kumo's gonna have to really play very careful. He doesn't want to keep getting hit with this corner over and over. And he's already into a quarter of his life. Oh my goodness, Kumo is being taken to task by Max Brass. Was that a perfect? No, oh wait, no, it seemed like Kumo got a jab in, but really not a whole lot he can do. And that is the effectiveness of Serp's, uh, Serp's set right there. Two very fast weapons to coincide with the power that Max Brass brings to the table naturally. Yeah, we're seeing here a switch by Kumo over to the Scorpio. Uh, now he doesn't have any arms that unfortunately knock down his heavies, but I think he's relying more on Cobra's ability to escape from these situations. And we're seeing him use these hops a lot to get away from whatever Surf is trying to throw out and using that Megaton to punish any arms that aren't gonna make their mark. I mean, he's doing very small amounts of damage, but those grabs that, uh, that Surf's been getting have been absolutely brutal, and of course that rush. He really only used one rush thus far, and that is a big, big rush for uh, for Kumo. Gets him right back into this thing. Yeah, they're almost at even life again, despite Surf seeming to have the advantage the entire time. That's just what a Megaton rush can do. Those heavy arms have a lot of damage on them. But now, Serp got the grab, putting Kumo into the corner, and Max Brass's Perma Charge and Super Armor gonna be able to lock him down round two and the game on Sparring Ring. Now that was a bit closer, obviously, but I feel like it definitely wasn't on uh, on account of that rush, which wound up doing, I believe, 700 damage or so. Uh, it was about th 385, I believe. 385, yeah, it did take down uh, did take down quite a bit of uh, of health. I, I thought there was like the 350 added on to the th that's that's what I that's what I was thinking. But yeah, I should have noticed that. What yeah, I say? I'm just doing math on the fly here. What's that? What can I say? So if we got a 700 rush, that'd be insanity. That yeah, would absolutely. About that would three quarters of life. Banned. Yeah, banned no, that would worst. be that'd be banned right from the start. In the words of our player resolve, broken. B A N D. Banned. <laughs> banned with a B emoji. B. Yeah, B. <laughs> B A N apostrophe D, ban. And going into this game now, it looks like both contestants are ready. We're gonna see this go on to DNA Lab. Serp gonna bust out his Masango here, one of the other uh, low tier characters that is really underused. But Serp has been pressing. Hey guys, Masango's a low, a uh, high tier. I swear. Yeah, the Masango against the King Cobra. Uh, he does have a he does have a set with which to work or a game with which to work. 
So I don't blame him for trying to uh, trying to mix it up a little bit. But at the same time, yeah, Masango definitely presents his own challenges. But what makes him a low tier specifically? Uh, or what? at least not as favorable. Yeah. Masango, uh, in general, has a hard time because he has these three different masks that kind of make him like the shulk of the game, uh, where he has to use these masks in different situations. Uh, the mask getting them on itself has lag on it, which you can punish a Masango for getting their mask on. And the kind of like that, Pokemon Trainer and Ball. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and we're seeing here, though, those masks are giving him favor. Each mask has a little different effect to it. The one that uh, he's floating around right now with the red mask uh, gives you super armor, kind of like Max Brass. So this yellow mask is the one that Surf wants to go with because it does give you invincibility when you use Rush and help you build Rush faster. It should have really helped right now against Kumo's Rush pressure that he's applying. And that yellow mask is coming right back on. Absolutely, and right now a superior fan trying to get whatever he can going, but uh, it is a pocket Misango going up against uh, Kumo's main and Kid Cobra. He's been putting in quite a bit of work again. Wound up taking out Urin in uh, in the winner's quarterfinal, excuse me. But he has a he has a one round advantage on uh, on Surf right now. And Surf's in very real danger of having this thing tied up at one. I guess he's uh he's down with a round three with a game three with his counter pick though. Yeah, I mean, but we all know if, if you're part of the arms community that Surf and Sango is nothing to laugh at. He's been training this boy just about as hard as his Max Brass, and he's taken entire online tournaments just by using this Masango. So to see Kumo putting up such a good fight against it is really testament to how much work Kumo is putting in himself. Yeah, Surf, I don't know if he's out of practice or whatever, but he just keeps getting tagged, especially with that right arm of Kid Cobra's. Yeah, Kid Cobra, uh, Kumo himself has been Ooh. not letting uh, Masango get on the mask, which is something Masango always needs since without the mask, he kind of just becomes a substandard character with no real special abilities other than the masks themselves. So uh, the fact that he now finally gets his mask on is great oh. for Surf, but it's going to be knocked off right what again. Yeah, every time that he's getting it knocked down, he's losing that mask and having to work to get it back up. The yellow mask will let him use the rush safely there since Kumo wouldn't be able to punish it. He will get a little bit of damage off of that, but Kumo now having the rush advantage of his own. Yeah, he's got some room with which to work. It's about even. Well, he is tagging a Surf for a lot of damage right here. Yeah, Surf's having to use the pillar that appears whenever he shields to kind of shield himself from the popper. I feel like he's getting him with that Megaton far more than uh, he really should be allowing the rush cancel. And Surf, that's the sort of momentum swing that he needed to get back into this thing. Yes. I mean, Kumo needs, the, Kumo needs a jab, and he needs it now. Yeah, Surf there. I don't think he's going to be able to take this oh, back, not, unfortunately. Not quite in time. Oh, my goodness. That was as close as it could get. Surf almost pulling it back but it will be a game two victory for Kumo. So we're going to go to a game three here. And uh, Serp very close to getting it done with his Misango. Misango, Misango? Uh, uh, both are said, but it's generally more Misango. Fair enough, fair enough. No, but uh, coming very close to uh, a 2-0 victory off of a, uh, well actually, I think the only option that he had there was a knockout at that juncture, but at the same time, Oh uh, man, oh man, he was taking quite a few hits from that Megaton. Just not seeing it coming, just tagged for 120 damage every single time. That accounted for about a quarter of his health bar. Definitely made the difference in this matchup. Yeah, and speaking of matchups, we're seeing uh, the switch over back to Max Brass again on Via Dolce, which is a stage really known to help Max Brass and heavies in general. So it's a great counter pick by Serp there. Gonna be able to get into the corner there, gonna be able to nail Kumo down and use those stun confirms to Really, you're gonna probably see a repeat somewhat in technique and style of what we did game one there on sparring ring. And like we're seeing, like I said, those stun confirms coming back in, keeping Kumo nailed to the corner. That Megaton, the only thing that's keeping him from getting absolutely decimated by these. And Kumo's really going to have to show his worth here. This is Surf's counter pick on a stage very favorable to him, a comfort pick for Surf, one might say. And uh, with a set that really favors him. And of course, the number one seed in the tournament, whenever you give him any sort of concession, you are going to get punished and punished hard for it. And already, Kumo down to less than half of his health. We're seeing, though, now Mountain Advancement, but that stray tribal will hit, gives Surf a little bit more room to breathe. Not quite getting a knockdown, but he does have a rush he can pull out, and he's going to pull that out right here. But Kid oh, Cobra's just gets jump. out of range. Kumo 
goodness gracious, incredibly well-timed going on the defensive. Discretion being the better part of Valor, and he runs for the hills, and he finds uh, safety there, and a rush of his own into the corner. Serp goes just like that. It's Serp down to his last bit of health. Serp's on the ropes here. Yes, yeah, Serp is in the max brass buff boy mode that you get below 25% health. Oh, but and he's going to use that to kill. Going to take it to round two now. If he wins this next round, he will be moving on to the winner's finals. Serp advancing without fear and advancing perhaps to winner's final with another game victory. This is Kumo up against the wall. That could have been his chance, Hama. Yeah, but never say GG to a max brass. That's what we always say in the arms community. And we saw Surf exemplify that they're using the Max Brass Buff Boy mode. Gonna use his rush there, gonna catch the landing of Kumo. Deal a nice 270 and put himself in a favorable state. No escaping that one. Very little room with, uh, to go towards. And man, Max Brass just absolutely hammering Kumo in the corner. He needs to find, a, he needs to find an answer and he needs to find it quick. That rush is going to be shielded and he gets popped in the face for the trouble. Down to 25% health, even less than that. Kumo needs an answer. He's not finding it right here, and he's going to need it right here. Oh, he's not going to find it. And Serp, he pulls it to a 2-1. to one. He will advance to winner's final. Good effort by Kumo. I mean, he was finding a few things that uh, he perhaps should not have in that game three, but uh, Serp ultimately winning that two games to nil. I really do feel like that was uh, that was Kumo's game to lose in that first round of the third game, but it was uh, Serp pulling it back, advancing the guard, and uh, eventually just getting the jab to seal the KO. Yeah, we saw that round two that Kumo was seeming to find his ground a little bit more. Uh, he was pulling off kind of some good corner techniques in Via Dolce since you can punch through those corners that the opponents can't move into. So it kind of gives you another way to cut off the movement that Serp was trying to go for. Uh, but unfortunately, it seemed like when uh, Serp used that rush and caught Kumo's landing that he got into his head. And that head pressure, man, that's something that you can't do anything really about in your gameplay. You have to do it mentally. And to yeah. see that, like, just going for your escape was what got you punished, that can get in your head pretty hard. And Max Brass and Stun Arms can capitalize on that so well. And that's